In light of the increasing environmental challenges, there is a growing need to take responsibility. More and more consumers are increasingly inclined to make conscious choices, and companies, including those in the seafood industry, are not only willing, but also obligated to act. This is where Wise Fish steps in, offering a comprehensive end-to-end -end supply chain management solution for these pressing issues. When you go to a restaurant and order fish, or visit your local fishmonger, or a supermarket to buy some fresh Atlantic cod, you might start to wonder, where does this fish come from? How did it get here? And what was its environmental impact? More and more people are starting to think like this. The conscious consumer is on the rise. They want transparency and traceability, and want to buy food that was produced in harmony with the environment. They seek not just a meal, but a story, a story that begins in Icelandic waters. The fishing trawler has been on a four-day trip and is about to make its last haul of the trip. It sets the net in the sea, and when it is full, the trawler pulls it in. This fish is among the last ones caught. The whole fishing trip was done in Icelandic waters and was done sustainably. The clock is 8 p.m. and will sail to the Reykjavik harbor, where the vessel will land. The total catch on this five-day trip is about 100 tons of cod. During this tour, the vessel burned about 50 tons of oil, and the carbon footprint is approximately 150 tons of CO2 emissions. That meant that every kilogram of fish has 1.5 kilograms of CO2 emissions. The trawler lands in Reykjavik at 6 a.m. in the morning. The tubs are removed from the hold of the ship and placed on the pier. The landing crew quickly started to move it on electric forklifts into the seafood company's cold storage rooms. They work fast, and a few hours later, they have finished moving all the tubs of fish into the cold storage. The tub with the freshest fish has been conveniently located, since they know the company wants to process and transport the newest fish quickly to the European market. The fish trader that works for the seafood company finalizes a deal with a French distributor. They have put in an order for 2,000 kilograms of fresh Atlantic cod for delivery tonight at Charles de Gaulle Airport. She informs the foreman in the processing plant, and the foreman asks for fish to be delivered. To be able to produce 2,000 kilograms of fillets, they know it needs about 4,000 kilograms of unprocessed fish. This fish is one of those who is chosen for this production. The fish is flayed and packed and arranged on a pallet awaiting transport. All the orders are finished before lunch, and the pallets wait for the delivery truck. This factory uses electricity from renewable sources made in Iceland, so very little CO2 is emitted during the processing. But the packaging emitted some emissions, and that is added to the carbon footprint of the fish. Byproducts of fish are used for various things. Fillets could be sold to a French restaurant. Livers are used in food supplements. The skin is used for medical purposes. Minced fish is used for fish fingers, and meal as a protein source for animal farming. Through these processes, the fish is fully utilized, and no raw material is being wasted. The fish is then transported from the factory to Keflavik International Airport. Most transport in Iceland is still done by trucks fueled by oil, so this 55-kilometer drive to Keflavik Airport emitted around 6 kilograms of CO2 that is added to the total CO2 emission of the produced fish. The truck arrives before 2 p.m., and the plane is scheduled to leave at 4 p.m. The fish is flown on an Iceland Air cargo flight from Keflavik to Paris. The flight takes about four hours and lands at 10 p.m. local time in Paris. The 2,000 kilograms of fish for this flight creates 2,200 kilograms of CO2 emissions, and the total emission for the product is updated. There were no delays, and the fish arrived on time. The fish is moved to a fish market in Paris. The auction is from 1 a.m. to 6 a.m., and a French restaurant buys 50 kilograms of fresh Atlantic cod. The order is being driven to Lyon as part of a larger delivery that is also going there. The drive takes around five hours to get there. The order is delivered around noon, and the chef starts to prepare for a busy night at a restaurant. Even though it is a Wednesday, the chef is expecting a packed restaurant since there is a conference in town. He is happy with the quality of the cod he just received and will serve many dishes tonight. The food arrives on the table. You could know the source of the fish. It could be as easy as scanning a QR code. You can see all the information relating to the origin of the fish, 
the producer, how it was transported, and its carbon footprint. All this data is coming from the WiseFish solution. WiseFish is all about traceability, which is an essential component of sustainability. The solution follows the fish from fishing through production to warehouse and trading, and all the way to the customer and back if needed. Let's start with fishing. We're proud to showcase our partnership with Brim, one of Iceland's largest fishing companies. Brim has been using wise fish from the start. At Brim, sustainability is not only policy, but they are leaders in social responsibility and emphasize environmental issues and innovation. They use the wise fish solution to store the fuel usage of their fishing vessels and combine that information with information about their catch to calculate their carbon footprint. The wise fish solution stores exactly where and when each batch of fish was caught. Why does this matter? For consumers, it's crucial to know if the fish they're buying is sustainably caught. Certification bodies like the Marine Stewardship Council vouch for fishing companies. When a catch has this certification, it's vital to keep a complete record from the fishing trip to production. Now, on to production. When bringing in raw materials for processing, all information about the origin of the raw material is needed. What really separates Wise Fish from most other manufacturing systems is the disassembly of raw material into many products like fillets, skins, and other byproducts. In classic manufacturing, you are taking many materials and producing one product. Fish can go through several production stages. We have customers that are making salted dry fish, which involves five different steps. Wise Fish keeps track of all of this, tracing everything back to the source. Our customers want to know the yield and costs at each production stage. We specifically extended Business Central by creating lots. Lots are used to bring together raw materials, produced goods, and to calculate the costs of produced goods. We use the same method to calculate and distribute environmental costs. These costs can come from raw materials, waste, power used in production, and more. In real life, the food supply chain can be quite complicated. With many different players in the supply chain, each using different systems and all affecting the environment. WiseFish connects all these environmental impacts along the chain. At the heart of WiseFish is the trading module. Initially designed for Iceland's primary fish producers exporting large quantities in shipping containers, it now serves a broader range of users. There are essentially three types of trading within the system. One, inventory traders the original users from Iceland that produce to inventory and then sell from inventory. Two, production traders. Some businesses know they can make various products from raw materials. Produced goods are already reserved for that sales order. Most fresh fish is traded this way. Three, distributors. This category includes entities that mainly buy and sell fish, often without producing it themselves. They can be either demand-driven or supply-driven or a mix of both. Wise Fish adapts to all those different types of traders. At the core of each trading process is traceability. You can trace raw material from its origin to delivery, and you can backtrace produced goods to their origin. The Wise Fish logistics system is the final step for most of our customers. The logistics team creates the picking lists for the warehouse workers, as well as necessary documents for customs. For example, the catch certificates. The solution records certain information to estimate the CO2 coming from transportation. Or if the CO2 emissions are known, it can be entered directly into the solution. The logistic department books the transportation cost of the delivery to Business Central, and it is traced to the scale. At this point in time, we have a unique tracking number ready and can trace the product from start to end and back. WiseFish is developing a solution that enables you to scan a QR code to see the complete journey of seafood. As the market evolves, it's crucial to empower our customers to meet shifting demands. With more transparency, food producers must find ways to cut down the carbon footprint, enabling them to take a lead in the competition while allowing consumers to take informed decisions. That is how WiseFish will make a difference in the world. Join us on that mission.